Last time on Conmen's Cause We Love It. Don't be afraid, come hug me! <laughs> and now for the conclusion. This is just right after the cosplay fashion show, and I'm here with the first place winner. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Pretty good. How do you feel about your win? Good. I mean, I love that everybody enjoyed my costume. A lot of work. A lot of money has gone into it. Um, I wouldn't have been able to put it together without the help of the people in our Rocky cast in Midnight Mayhem, so this was not a one-person job. What is the experience like going up on stage with that before a costume? Like um, awesome. As an actor by trade, I can definitely say that, um, you know, tra like going up on stage is it's sort of like a rush like no other. It's sort of like a high that you get. It's like no drug, like matchable. So whether I'm acting or cosplaying the way I am, it's a, uh, it's actually, it's like an unmatchable feeling. It's a big thing. Rocky Horror has been around almost 40 years. The stage show just had its 40th anniversary this year. Um, it's a big audience response thing. A lot of people know Tim Curry as Dr. Frank Inverter to this day. Doesn't matter how many other movies he's done. A lot of people know Richard O'Brien's Riff Rap. Doesn't matter how much other stuff he's done. So it still has a big connection. It stretches across generations. Instant name recognition. We are the original cosplay. Cosplay would not exist without Rocky Horror. Mark that. And you've been cosplaying for a long time? Yes, I've been cosplaying for the last four years. How long have you been enjoying Rocky Horror? Did you write at the uh, from a younger age? Or? Uh, my stepmom got me into it when I was about 14 or 15. I actually got involved with the shadow casting here about two and a half years ago. Um, I've done it with the Phoenix cast up here with Midnight Mayhem and with the Tucson cast out at uh, Heavy Petting down at the loft in Tucson. What other characters have you done besides Loki? Um, I have done Fenris from Dragon Age 2. I've done uh, Tano from Legend of Korra. I've done other Loki costumes. I've been... Um, Corvo Otano from Dishonored, a number of a number of characters. Um, actually, my girlfriend and I are a cosplay couple. We've been doing this for a while. We have a relatively relative following. You were on stage at the the, the fashion show, a cosplay fashion show here at the convention. Um, what was like that? What was like being on stage and displaying your costume for that big crowd? Invigorating. I had a great time doing it, and there were some other really good costumes that gave me a run for my money. How many performances have you done uh, with your crew? I would say easily over a hundred. Wow. Um, I've lost count, to be quite honest. And we've done other movies too. We've done stuff such as Repo the Genetic Opera. We've done Clue, which is another Tim Curry movie. And we've also done Shock Treatment, which is the unofficial sequel to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It is a fantastic costume, I have to say. Thank you. I, uh, I, like especially, I like especially that it's all made of felt. How That must have taken a long time to put together. It certainly did. It took me three months to throw this entire costume together. And uh, I put a lot of heart into it. I can run in these heels now. Wow. I know girls that can't do that. I know my own girlfriend can't do that. But why felt and uh, yarn that it's besides, like, I, I don't know, like, actual... Uh, uh, rubber or anything else, other types? Breathability, I can actually breathe. I'm not sweating very much in this costume. Uh, most of the other people are roasting in theirs, but uh, they need to keep hydrated and you need to wear light material. How long did it take to put together this particular costume? Oh, um, total evolution. I've been playing Frank for two years of the two and a half I've been doing this, and it's been in a constant state of evolution since I started. The hammer here, how would you put that together? Because that looks like a pretty complicated piece. Well, this is actually made out of mesh, uh, very similar to the inside of my mouth, you can see it. Sewing mesh, it costs like a dollar per large sheet, two dollars maybe, and there's about three large pieces in here uh, make to go around the circular portion, and then the ends are one large piece, and all of this is a PVC pipe going all the way through, it's, okay. it costs two bucks, and all the felt cost me less than fifteen dollars, this hammer cost me less than thirty dollars to make. It's big and it's heavy, it's full of cotton and plastic bags, so it's still relatively light. You want to lift it? Yeah, that's pretty light right there. It's, it's heavy and it's light. Yeah. Compared to some other ones I've seen around. Yeah, there's some that are made of wood here, and I don't think you were supposed to make them out of wood, but at least when this hits people, it doesn't hurt them. Have you uh, 
submitted for other cosplay contests in the past? Yes, I've uh, I've been in and won past costume contests. So you got the breathability in your costume mm -hmm. and uh, and the fairly cheap uh, construction. So how much did it cost to put it together? I'd say, ooh, you know what? The yarn actually for my hair yeah. cost the most. It cost me about forty dollars in yarn. And the total, I'd have to say about $175 after everything. Have you been enjoying the convention? Um, I have been, indeed. It's definitely been a... Uh, this year, more than most years, is actually very, very... It's very populated. There's a, there's a lot, much larger attendance this year than there have been in the past years, which is really exciting to see because I've, I've, I've always supported Phoenix Comic Con. Well, thank you for talking with us. You're welcome. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. I, thank you, and I hope you do too.